Hello everyone, Mike127 here, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This guy is a pain in the dick, he's giving me so much trouble trying to get to the next generator, and there really isn't a good bomb nearby him to get him with. So I'm really worried, oh wait, I think I see a good platform to get, okay. Let's get over to that platform over there. Yeah, we have to take these guys out, we cannot get to the next generator with this guy alive, but he's so... He's gonna come alive if I get up to that platform. Can I go around the platform? Get the rock? I can't. I don't think my beetle can make it that far. Like this guy, this stupid rock is messing up everything that I'm trying to do. He made it so I can't, you know, get the the next generator in, in the last episode, so I don't have to do it in this episode. Fuck you! You should die a miserable death. I hate you. Kiss my ass. And seriously, that guy was pissing me off in the last episode. So let's get some rupees here, might as well. <sighs> okay, so... Uh, we have another Harak over there that was giving us a lot of trouble. We got some good rupees out of that. And there should be a little cactus down here. I might want to go a little bit closer to that guy. I don't know, I can probably make it. It's going to be really slow. Again, I'm sorry about how slow this is. I don't really know how early you can get the upgrade beetle that moves faster. I'm gonna try to get that as soon as possible. Okay, so now that's out of the way, we can actually move on to the damn place. I think I can just go here. It's kind of easy to find your way around the paths here that you, like, like all the sand that you can actually run on. Because, like, you see platforms kind of mark it off, and, uh, grass in the middle. Oh, wait, that's, okay. Yeah. Like, grass here sh indicates that you can run on it as well, so that's kind of a good way to indicate it. So, I'm not really gonna mess too much with using the map to see where these paths are. Though, I don't know if there's one... I will check the map for this, if there's any in front of these things. It's, uh, these baskets. I don't think there is. Don't do that. You can set multiple beacons. You set up to five. So I think you can run on that. I'm gonna just uh, restock bombs. As you can see, whenever you select a bomb flower, it automatically selects the bombs as your uh, selectable item. So that's pretty convenient. I like how they do that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you can just run across this. Oh, maybe not. Well, kind of. You just have to take the right path. So obviously cracked wall here, so it's gotta be. It, it looks like there's a type of stone in it, so I'll I'll be sure to hit that. But first, let's get these baskets and see what's behind them. Could be something important. You never know. Huh? That seemed like it. Yeah, it, it did the puzzle sound effect right there. So that's gotta be something important. Let's get this one really quick as well. Okay. Oh wow, a generator. Okay, yeah, that's kind of important, huh? <laughs> Let's get that, but I wonder if you have to have the time shift stone on to have that work. I think you do. So let's blow up the blow up the wall and get the time shift stone hit over here. So drop a bomb, run back across so we don't get hit by it. And let's just be ready. Oh actually we have to get the time shift the time shift stone as well, so let's not forget to do that. Okay. So let's hit this. I said hit this. You have to climb on the ledge to hit it. Link's sword just isn't that long. And now we can get the generator, and now we have two of three of them. So that was easy. The third one's actually pretty difficult, and we should definitely get it in this episode. Push in! Uh, I'm trying to push in the Wiimote, that's what's going on. I'm trying to, like, push my Wiimote towards the screen to push in the thing. We, all you really have to do is just press A. So, yep. Okay. So, we have one more that's kind of nearby. I like to think, yeah, it's across there. Alright, so, there's no Karox nearby. There's one I can see in the corner of my eye. Right over there, you can see it. I'm gonna check my map to see if I can walk across this. Sorry, I'm burping a lot. That's why my voice is kind of sounding weird at times. So, I just run across here. I'm gonna take a little rest, just so... Just to be sure. Okay, I can't go in the middle, so I have to take a right. But I can't get up 
there, so I want to. That's the main one right there, so I don't want that one. Oh shit! I hear something. No, that's the main one. Never mind. Then that's the one that I want to get to. Is that visible? That it can't be visible because remember the third one is inside of another like structure. I guess we have to go around. Yeah, we have to go around it to get to it. I don't know how long that's gonna take. But what, what does it? I wonder what the times for stone would do. Like, how is that gonna help us? It could help us. Might as well hit it just to see what happens. Um, really nothing. All, all the times for stone is for is bringing this to life. Oh well, it makes this area nice and colorful, so that's nice at least. <laughs> Let's get some more bombs. Always nice to refill in bombs. Alright, so... Just gotta make our way this way. It's a Harak up there, so let's make sure we get rid of him. I see a bomb tree right next to him, so this should be too hard to get rid of. Yeah, I forgot just how much of a pain these guys can really be when they're flying around at you. When you're stuck in the middle of the sand, you really can't do much about them. Like, like it... If you watched the last episode, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those can be a pain in the ass. Thankfully, they don't... Actually, no, nope, 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 they do leave. They do leave when they see the beetle. And you can just... Oh, come on, you can barely catch up to him. You're just barely faster than he is. So yeah, you will really want to make sure you sneak up on those guys, too. Because they can see you coming with your beetle. And they will fly away. So that can suck. Okay, so I'm going to check my thing again. And again, we kind of want to go that way. I believe we can just run across this, even if it is indulged in sand. We have some plumes over here, so let's get rid of them. Whoop, the bomb just barely got fur. And now he's going to go away from it. Can I even get over there? I think I can on the map. Let's see. I can't, oh no, I can't run that way. You can see on the map, if you pay attention to Link's head, you can see like a little yellow flash that kind of indicates which way you're facing so that's an important thing to note um so i can't really go that way can i can i go this way though i guess i can go over here no i don't think i can no you sink in the sand so i can't go that way so i'm not really i guess i can't be too concerned about those plumes over there then can I go... Which way can I go? Because I can't climb up the wall. Well, I go that way. Yeah, I just go towards the middle. So, you wanna... Sorry. Doing a lot of map checking here. I'm just gonna run this and go to that platform off to the right. And I'm gonna get rid of these plumes now. I'm gonna try rolling to them. Uh, I have a little bit of a rightward curve on that. There you go. Yeah, thankfully again the bomb blows up when you when they hit when they hit the plume, so that's nice. <coughs> okay, um Again, always gotta check the map. I think I do wanna go like right in the middle. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah man, I don't know how to play the game. <laughs> I don't know how to play. I wanna go that direction. But it's really hard to figure out how to get over there. Okay, again, I gotta check the map a million times. Yeah, I want to take a ride. This guy's going to be really annoying, just because you don't know where the sand's going to... Ah, oh, no! God! Ugh, just frustrating little things like that. Ugh. Okay. So, let's, uh... Use the map. I'm going to start using beacons again. I'll beacon that right there. No! No, you don't know, you don't know how to play! You don't know how to play this game at all! Just make a fool of yourself, man. So you can go right here. But that doesn't really help because we can't climb up this. So I'm um, no I have to go this way. So I'm gonna just turn back. Very carefully. Oh shit, you're sinking, you're sinking, you're sinking. Okay. Yeah, this is what this is like. Um kinda tricky. No god! Plus button! Plus button, plus button, plus button. Go straight. You're stupid, man. God, it's just all, there's so many, there really is a lot of buttons you have to press. There's a C, there's Z, 
There's a lot of- there really is a lot of buttons on the Wiimote Nunchuck combo. There really is. And it's hard to remember what they do. You can't really blame me. Because a lot of them do very similar things. It's like, there's tons of menus. Like, they do very similar things. It's a good idea to get rid of beacons, by the way. They're nearby you, so you don't get them confused with the new ones you set down. So, there you go. Okay. So let's see what's over here. Uh, tons of these guys. These guys can get annoying in this area. I remember this. I'm just gonna try to run past them. So just run for your life. Recharge, because they don't see you. And I think you want to go right around here. Oh, there's a bug here. Let me get my net out. Wow, yeah, way to sneak up on him. Good job. Ugh. Okay. Get around that guy. Just make sure he's not really. Just run! I might get hit by this! Yep, I will. Just kill him at least. Get some hearts out of him, maybe. Okay. Maybe he'll give me some hearts. Nope, rupees. Oh well. Okay, so let's go in here. Um. Right. Quickly, we can go over here and actually grab this switch. And that'll open a shortcut back in here, so that's nice. Okay. And we can get rid of this. And the bird statue here, and I'm checking my time, and I can keep playing. Okay. I'll get this thing in this episode. So, it shouldn't be too bad. This one can be tricky to figure out, and actually, I spent a really, really long time here my first time through. This was... This was the... Puzzle, the one puzzle in the game that I had the most trouble with. I spent maybe an hour, not, maybe not an hour, but a pretty damn long time in here trying to figure it out, and I had no idea how you could possibly get it. I'll point out what something me up here later. First, let's just kind of explore a little bit. Choose here, get off of me. No. Ah, damn, I didn't mean to swing. God, I hate those. I'm gonna wait for this one to electrocise. See, remember you have those electric shoes that you split apart? Don't try to attack them immediately after you split them apart. Wait for them to go electric, because they'll always go electric immediately when you split them apart. So that can be easy to get tricked by. Okay, um... I'm gonna try to do this really quickly. No, of course he saw me rise, I was about to... Okay, at least he can... At least he can't go on the platform. I can't reach him. Okay, let's do this. Really quickly. What? Blow up! Man, I hate how it doesn't blow up on contact. Like, it does it for the plumes, but it doesn't do it for those guys. Like, if you drop the bomb on them, it explodes on, on contact. But see? Like, it doesn't blow up on contact. That's kind of annoying. I wish it would just blow up on contact. There you go. That sucks. I don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna look around for hearts really quick. Even though that guy could have dropped hearts, I don't really know if he did or not. Okay, again. You slice it. No, what? Again? No! And then, of course, they always try to slice it after I get out of that. God! I'm just getting frustrated with myself being stupid. <laughs> there's, just, there's been so much rage in this idea. I kind of love it. I, I hope you guys don't mind that. I'm, I'm really not raging as bad as I sound. I'm just, like, freaking out. Like... More like, more like in an exasperated way. I don't know. I think it's fun to yell at yourself. That's just my opinion. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Playing this by ear again. I don't know what I can do with these platforms. Like, if these guys can hit me on them. That last room in, the, like, the last episode. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I just had to wait for that. That just sucks. That sucks that they can go over the platforms. And I don't really have much of a way to- Whoa, 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 are you kidding me? Are you even kidding me? Just get rid of him. Man, I know I'm about to die. I hate that. I hate how Fi has to warn you every time you're low on health. As if you're blind, you can't see you're low on health. Plus, the game gives you a nice beep. It's from the original Zelda, they have a beep for when you're low on health. That's, that should be enough to indicate it to you. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed. 
So that's for, yeah, that's a very important time for stone. Let's get rid of that hit right away to get rid of these stupid guys. So I'm telling you, I hate these things. I hate them so much. And it sucks even worse that they can go over the platform here. Ugh. Okay. So, let's see here. We have some techno blends. I'm really low on health, though. So I'm gonna have to take these. I'm gonna have to go a safe route here. Oh, wow, I got kind of lucky with that because he kind of came back to life for a little bit. Okay, at least I'm getting hearts. That's good. Get some more rupees as well. Yeah, I'm gonna take a very safe approach off the tactical blends because I'm using them to refill my hearts. So I gotta be really careful in this area. You can't really sneak up on them very much in this place, too. I remember this isn't a, really as much as a, of a maze as the last one was. Okay. So be really careful. Be careful with the balls here, too. <laughs> I just want to make sure I take out all the Techno Blends first. Oh, that one's kind of hiding. Oh, what? Shield! Shield! Damn it. What? Whatever, just die. Go away. I'm starting to suck again. Like, so much for my... Like, it's just... Uh, whatever. Whatever. Shh, don't... Oh, wait. I can knock this guy off. Get, no! There you go. Man. Hold on. I'm gonna... Do this. Screw this guy. There you go. Just roll it at him. Blow him up. Yeah, run away. You're stuck, because... He can't go anywhere because he has the edge like right next to him. And I didn't what? Oh, there's a what? <sighs> I tried to backflip too. I'm gonna die. Just I know, Fi. Seriously, I hate that. I just I hate that. I know I'm about to die, Fi. I hate that. I really I legitimately hate that. I don't need to be reminded when I'm dying. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit pissed off now. I know that I'm about to die, Fi. And it, it's half health, too. Well, then again, I guess, well, three hearts would always get there. But, uh, because again, this is a six heart run, <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. So, we're going to be getting that stupid Fi warning all the time. She, she does that when you're low on battery, too. She's like, we're not stupid, Nintendo. We can we can understand we're low on health. I just hate that. I really don't like that. It's it's almost insulting to the player. Like, you're you're too dumb to recognize what the hearts mean on your screen by now. Okay, so technical blends are all gone. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm a little bit perturbed now. I'm ready to end this recording session, but we're just about done. I want to keep this one still around because eventually we will be using. Like, we will be turning time back to normal. So I'm gonna grab this other one. Uh, wait for it to go, and it's... Yeah, do that. This can be difficult to figure out. I'm just gonna keep throwing it. This may go at a pretty slow pace, too. Okay, sorry, I was getting distracted because... Lots of things going on. Uh, I thought that I thought that was gonna take longer than it did, so I decided to speed it up because I'm an idiot. And then Fi started annoying me, and I started screaming at the monitor. So I decided to cut that out because it's not very fun to listen to me scream at the monitor. So what we want to do is we want to take one of these to the other side here. Actually, shit. I might be forgetting how you do this. You want to get these to the other side. Hopefully I can get him over there. Good, okay. That's what I wanted. No, he fell! He's, yeah. I saw the ball just fall down. That sucks. I need the other one, though. You basically want to bring these guys back to life. You know what? Yeah, let's... <laughs> you want to bring these guys back to life with the time shift stone. And then you want to kill them. You you'll see. There's this gap that... You want to get across to. Um, it's all sand, and you can't run across that. Thankfully, this platform, these guys can't get to you from it. So that's good. No, never mind. Well, fine. Makes it easy for me to kill you. So, 
Thankfully, there's a good current. Oh, come on, get on that. Don't get off of the thing, though. So, yeah, you can ride the uh, shell to the other side. This is, this is what took me forever to figure out my first playthrough. I had no idea how to get to the other side of this. So, this is, this is what stumped me, is how to get across. So, yeah. Man, I'm starting to get... My voice is hurting, too, so sorry. There's a lot of yelling at Fi. I, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try to refrain, refrain from doing that. Just something you have to get used to is Fi warning you when you're low on health. It's really stupid and annoying. I know, like, some people, it's probably not that big of a deal, but for me, I hate it. I just... I just hate it. It's just excessive. You already get the beeping of the, of the hearts. Like, you don't need another indication that you're low on health. I'm taking it slow, too, with all these attacks. Sorry about that. I don't know what this really does. I think it's just like a treasure. Yeah. Some Elden Ore. So, sorry about the length of the episode, too. It's probably going to be pretty long. But I don't want to do another episode in this recording session, so... It's going to be long, so... Whatever. That's fine, I guess. So, that creates a shortcut back down. So, we want to, once again... Uh, do this, hit the time shift stone. Can't really get hurt by anything anymore. I guess we can get hurt by the electric balls. If I die here, I'm gonna be so upset. I really, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rage quit. If I die, I'll end the episode, that's for sure. Yeah, thankfully, um, these things cannot, uh, hurt your beetle. Should be able to make this. You, you have barely enough time. Drop it down. Ooh, that was perfect. I landed right in the end dent. That's perfect. Hopefully, it'll just drop in right. Uh, open the door there. Okay. Let's quickly get this shit over with. I'm ready to stop playing, as you can tell. Oh, I do have to. I wonder if I can just stab it in. Yep. Awesome. I love that. Very nice. Okay, so that will open the door, and we can... Ooh, there's a chest over there. It's two chests. Let's get these really quick. Blue whoopee. Very nice. And this is probably another treasure. So that is also nice. The uh, monster horn. It's been around since I've seen one of those. You get those usually from keys, so there you go. First one, really? No, monster claws are what you get from keys. Never mind. That's right. Okay, so let's get our last generator with the good stab. Turn it over. Press A to push it in. Not really much more commentary than just explaining what I'm doing on screen. You can tell I'm kind of running out. And there you go. Fi's probably gonna pop out and explain this to us. I'd be shocked if she didn't, but if she does, I'm gonna cut it out. Always saying the obvious things too. Everything's been uh, been activated, as if you couldn't tell. So there you go. Um, that's definitely gonna do it for this episode. I'm gonna make my way out of here, and there's a bird statue right outside of this uh, structure here. So that is where I'm gonna start the next episode. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with my rage in this episode, and I will see you next time when we turn on the main generator and open up the Linnaeu mining facility. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Michael217 is out for now.